in this video I will show you how to calculate uh, convolution or uh, periodic convolution or cir circular convolution by using matrix method. So, earlier in the last class we discussed the convolution circular convolution by sum by column method. So, here I am having another method to show you. So, that is matrix method to calculate uh, circular convolution. So, to explain that I consider two examples that means two signals for, for convolution. So, that is x of n is equal to 1 1 minus 1 2 this is one signal and another signal is 1 2 3 4. These two signals I want to convolute by using circular convolution process. So, that is also matrix convolution I want to obtain the circular convolution result. So, how we need to consider that matrix process means so, first one signal you need to decide to write the matrix and second signal you can write as multiplication matrix. So, now I am considering this signal. So, here I am writing first four samples in vertical 1, 1, minus 1, 2 and whatever you, you are ended that means last sample you need to write here again that means 2 and after this last sample first will repeat every time you need to repeat and you need to write the same samples which you ended in the previous column. So, here so I return this 2 and after this 2 you are not having any samples you need to start with first one 1 1 and minus 1 after this minus 1 you need to write here again and you need to write so, here minus 1, minus 1, this one you need to write it again and after this minus 1 you are having 2, after this 2 you are having 1 again. So, 1 and this one and of this one you need to write once again and after this one, this is this one, not this one. If you consider differentiated samples, uh, you will get clear. As we consider 1 and 1 here, you are going to confuse. After 2, you return this one. After this one, you return this one. So, this same one you need to repeat here. And after this one, you are having minus 1 and 2. After 2, again, you, you need to go for 1. So, like this, you need to get the same sample at end. You started with this and you are uh, ended with this. Here also you are having one, but this one is not the first one. This is second sample. You need to start for first sample. Like this way, you need to write. So, whenever again first sample came at the end, you can stop the matrix. So, I am once again going to explain the procedure. You need to consider your samples in vertical. So, last sample you need to repeat again at the starting of second line and this two after this two you are going to start your first sample again after this minus one this minus one after every line you need to repeat the last sample at first and you need to write the remaining samples you are having in the sequence. So, like this way you need to complete the matrix after completing this matrix. So, I am going to multiply with second one in convolution. For example, if you want convolution of these two, you need to write matrix for one sample that means one sequence and you need to consider other samples of other signal as vertical matrix. So, here 1, 2, 3, 4 like this you need to consider. If you have done multiplication, you are going to get uh, directly the result of circular convolution. So, I am going to multiply these two matrices. So, 1 into 1, 1 plus. So, 2 into 2, 4 plus. So, minus 1 into 3. So, this is minus 3. So, plus. So, 1 into 4, you are having 4 here. Now, you can see. So, again, I am multiplying my second row with this column. So, 1 into 1, you are having 1. 1 into 2, 2. 2 into 3, 6. Next, finally, minus 1 into 4, minus 4. So, now here, minus 1 into 1, minus 1. 1 into 2, plus 2. 1 into 3, plus 3. Finally, 2 into 4, plus 8. And final, 
samples I'm going to multiply with with this vertical matrix 2 into 1 you are having 2 here plus minus 1 into 2 you are having minus 2 1 into 3 you are having plus 3 and 1 into 4 you are having plus 4 so after completing this matrix multiplication you are going to consider the result 1 plus 4 this is 5 5 minus 3 2 2 plus 4 this is equal into 6 so now 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 6 so that is equal into 9 9 minus 4 you are going to get 5 so here this is equal into 5 and here minus 1 plus 2 that is equal into 1 1 plus 3 is equal into 4 4 plus 8 is equal into 12 so here 12 so now 2 minus 2 is equal into 0 and 3 plus 4 is equal into 7 so this is your circular convolution result that means if y of n is the convolution of x of n and h of n so if x of n is m samples convoluted with another n samples that means four samples with four samples maximum of m comma n that means same four samples will come so that four samples are 6 comma 5 comma 12 comma 7 so this is the result of your circular convolution by matrix method this is also a simple method only thing is you need to write the matrix then you are going to get the number of samples directly but Maximum people uh, used to uh, use that sum by column method for circular convolution also. One, once if you have habituated for this, this is also very simple to get circular convolution directly. There in sum by column method, first you are going to obtain the linear convolution. From that you need to add the samples and then you are getting circular convolution. But by this matrix method, you can directly get the required number of samples in circular convolution.